Today is Sunday, February 25th, and this morning Matt and I played hooky from church and just watched it online um, because I have an MRI today. So if you've been following along, um, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, POTS, endometriosis, and something going on with my stomach, and so I've had multiple testing I don't know, multiple tests going on currently. And so I just had a CT and a barium swallow slash x-ray for my stomach. And today I have an MRI for my hips. And so we're going to take you along. I feel like I've had so much um, radiation exposure recently, but hopefully after this, we can be done for a bit. Okay, so it is just about three o'clock here and my appointment is at six this evening and we have to drive in to the city for it and so i have gathered all of my things that i need i have my book a heating pad i have supper for later in my little crock pot because i'm um npo right now and that means no eating so i have a water for later pack some gatorade for later um i have my meds for later a letter so that we know where we're going. What else did I pack? I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna head her. I forgot to mention I've also taken out all of my earrings, my nose ring, I've replaced with a plastic one and took off my rings. And then I am just wearing a comfy sweater, sweatpants that don't have any metal pieces on them. And I just have my hair in braids from last night. So. I've never had an MRI before, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm not all that nervous because, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just not, so. stopped at a gas station currently to just use the bathroom because um, we're actually quite a bit earlier than we were planning to be but we've never been to this facility before and so we wanted to make sure that we were um, knowing where we were going so um, yeah I'm just currently sitting in the car and we have this device um, that plugs into like we call it the cigarette lighter but we don't smoke but that's the thing that it is and it allows us to be able to use like normal like cords in the car and so currently I have my heating pad plugged in and then I'm gonna plug in my crock pot this has my soup in there and this has been like one of the like best things ever for me because I'm pretty much only doing like liquids and soft foods and so when I go to the city I usually bring like want to bring soup with me because it's just the best option for me and um buying food for me isn't an option right now and so um I can't eat salad I can't eat sandwiches um there isn't like places that I would trust to make gluten-free soup and so I just packed my own soup and this thing works wonderfully. I got it for like 20 bucks on clearance, which was like such a good deal. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Matt to come back. He was grabbing himself either something to eat or drink or something. Um, and then we'll be on our way again. So 
about the lighting, but we just got back from my MRI in the city. It went really well. It was like 30 minutes in the machine, um, more so just a lot of waiting. We got there quite a bit earlier and needed to pay the, like, the meter thing, which we were so lucky that we had change on us because some other people didn't. And then what they recommended is you literally just have to drive around, like, and hope that your appointment doesn't take too long then. So, um, we luckily had enough for the meter and, um, yeah, the, the scan went well. So we'll see what it says. They said it could be like a week or something. So that won't be in this video. I'm going to go relax now. Good morning friends, today is Monday, February 26th, and I am just on my way out to run a couple of errands. So I, we have like this like online, like garage sale type, um, like secondhand store in my area where you can buy things secondhand. And recently my pots has just been um, kind of all over the place and the medication that I'm on also causes episodes of bradycardia and I had one last night which was actually really scary because my heart rate was in the 40s. It's never been in the 40s. It's usually like way up in the 100s but not down in the 40s and so I just feel like I need something that better tracks my heart rate um, other than just this app that I have on my phone because my doctor doesn't really believe me when I tell him what I say my phone is reading my heart rate at, even though it's accurate. Like I have tested it manually by counting my heart rate and checking it with the app as it's like tracking my heart rate and it's accurate. But I would like something that can like switch through my, like my heart rates a little bit better um, and tracks it more consistently. And so I am going to go pick up a secondhand Apple Watch right now actually. I found it for like a hundred bucks and it's in really good condition and so I'm gonna go pick that up and then I also needed to get a couple of things that I just forgot when I got groceries this last week. I'm always forgetting something but we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna head on home so. Okay I'm back from running errands and I'm gonna unbox with you guys. So she still had the box and everything like she hasn't used it very often. And so I'm decently sure it's in really good condition and everything. So first she got one of these like stands so that you can actually stand up the watch so that you can see the time like on your bedside table. And, oh, I should have done that. It's the big reveal, like, ah, ta-da. Okay, so this is a strap. I'll show that to you in a second. This is the Apple Watch. So the one that she has on there currently is just like this light pink strap. That's what it looks like. So it's a series three. So it's a bit older, but that's okay. Um, this is what the one strap looks like. I'm probably gonna put that one on it, honestly, because I think that's really cute. And then she also has this black strap as well and um she said it wasn't a very good strap though so probably we'll never use that one but it came with the whoop as it rolls under the couch came with the charger and everything so i'm gonna get this set up and get it working good morning everybody today is thursday february 29th and I am just getting ready to do a little bit of baking here. Um, yeah, I'm really tired. I haven't had much energy to do anything, as you can tell by like my like deep black circles under my eyes. But I have been craving like an oatmeal raisin cookie, and so I'm gonna get started on something like that. <laughs> try that again. This was a really big recipe and so I decided to split it into three. So one part is the oatmeal raisin, the other part is like a milk chocolate and, well milk chocolate and white chocolate chip oatmeal cookie and then the other one is just a cinnamon oatmeal coconut cookie. 
So we're gonna stick those in the oven. Okay, so I finished baking my cookies and I had a taste and they are delicious. Exactly what I was craving. So that is great. Um, I was just popping in here because I have some um, thoughts and also going to close out this week's video because I have to get it up. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get through this. My brain is like super foggy and I'm really tired. So I might lose my train of thought. This might not make 100% uh sense so i'll do my best but at the beginning of february i had said that i needed like a medical break and that i wasn't gonna be booking appointments or anything like that you guys february was the most busy i have been medically like so far but i did not book any of those it's just how it happened and honestly, I'm so thankful that it did. I honestly felt like that was like just the Lord stepping in and taking over. And I was just so grateful, honestly, because we are on the cusp of answers. And I think we might have gotten some, but I'm still kind of processing it. So I have been recording segments of videos that will be its own vlog altogether documenting the process of what we've been going through this month um that will hopefully end in like the final answers i mean if you're following my instagram then you'll already know what we've been going through because i share a lot on my instagram just because i know that that is like friends and family and I only share it on my stories, so it only lasts one day, whereas sharing it on here, it's up on the internet. And so, um, I'm not trying to keep it from you. I'm just also processing, um, I'm processing what we have gone through this past month and the answers that we have received. They will be in a separate video or in a later video or something, just because... I'm too tired to get into it right now, but let's just say these answers make sense and they're crazy, honestly, but I'm so glad that we are hopefully figuring this out and yeah. It's also, today is Rare Disease Day, so happy Rare Disease Day to my fellow zebras. But I'm going to close out this video. Thank you for following along. I'm sorry this vlog was like really boring. Speaking of which, um, the results from my hip MRI came back normal. Great. Perfect. Whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along on my journey. I really appreciate every single one of you. And um, for all of you who have been subscribing and following along on my journey, I appreciate all of you and I hope that this has been an encouraging um, channel to be a part of and I just want to welcome anyone here that's new and don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!